so today I'm going to be reacting to Avatar The Last Airbender Netflix Season 1 Episode 4. Really looking forward to watching this one, especially after the cliffhanger in the last episode. Last episode was fire. Actually really liking the series, despite some of the changes that have happened. Um, I think it's been a pretty good series, especially so far. Um, there are some really dark scenes though that have really thrown me off, but nonetheless, storyline wise, I like how they've condensed things but not to an extent where they've cut off things. And I'm glad that Cabbage Guy made an appearance. And uh, the actor for Jet last time, <laughs> I did not expect that. I did not expect him to be that handsome. And this is. Uh, I guess it's going to be continuing on from last time. They're in Ba Sing Se, if I remember correctly, and and the Fire Nation has just invaded. There have been lots of spies already, uh, and there was that bomb bomb plot that Jet and his army did apparently, which Ang found out. So I'm curious to know what's going to happen in this epi episode. And uh, just to clarify. I've forgotten most things of what happened in the cartoon, so please don't expect me to make comparisons between this Netflix series and the cartoon because it's been a long time since I watched the ca cartoon. I did make a reaction series to the cartoon, so you can check that out if the links still work. So yeah, this is pretty much just, just gonna react to it, just for what it is on its own rather than comparing it to the cartoon but you guys can let me know what changes they've made I'm curious to know about that and another thing I just wanted to mention is that some people are missing out on the streams because they don't get notified on time please do press the bell button the bell icon next to the subscribe button I believe that's where it is so that you are always notified when I do upload especially if I do make a stream a gaming stream or another writing stream that's how you know when I've uploaded and I also do make my community posts as well but for some reason it doesn't reach everyone I don't know what the YouTube algorithm is um, but yeah and there's gonna be a time reaction if you're watching this on YouTube so grab your own copy of the episode and then sync up with my reaction alternatively on Patreon I provide One Piece reactions, Avatar reactions and movie reactions with the actual videos included in case you prefer that Without any further ado, in three, two, one, start. Oh, it is dark. They they've been imprisoned. Oh, so they're all imprisoned. Oh, this is awkward. I don't think Zuko would just leave him behind. Oh damn, is he getting tortured? Where are the others? The snake? Maybe they've blackmailed him. <clears throat> yeah, of course. You're scared. Yeah. 
Mm. Oh, she found him. Where is Zuko? Is that Jet? Oh, damn. He's going to pretend to be one of the Earth soldiers. Good way to go undercover. Avatar the Last Airbender. I think the intro sequence, it slightly changes based on which land they're in. Into the dark. It started off dark. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. 100 years ago. Oh, the... Oh, okay. Oh my god, yo! We saw a glimpse of Boomy in the last episode. But I wasn't sure if it was just a regular old man. God, Boomy as a young kid and Ang. Oh, that is so... It's kind of weird. Used to be so great before. Impenetrable prison. A marshu. The fact that he's brothers with him is crazy. Ruthless family. Oh, oh my god, yo. Just remembered about Iroh's son. I still remember those scenes from the cartoon. Due to his grief of his dead son, deep in the heart of his grandpa. Oh, damn. Is that really the only way through the palace? Since you work for them. Tunnels. Vengeful spirits guard the... Maybe they'll understand. could everything go so much to shit in this place? You see how happy it was 100 years ago in that flashback? But that's Boomy. Fuck, Fire, Fire Nation.
Yo, that is a brave kid. Flipping hell, you're dealing with Fire Nation. Props to that kid. Oh my god, yo, Boomy. Who is the actor? Does he recognize him? Such f Huh? He's so jazzed up. Gosh, okay. <laughs> He's like Cairo. Did he even figure that out? Rock slipping. <laughs> that is such a funny reunion. That is so weird. He's all grown up and Ang remained the same. <laughs> what is wrong with <laughs> this guy? Yo, I love the actor. Uh, you said. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> oh my god, he's such a troll. He is such a troll. Oh my god. I mean, I knew he was a bit wacky, but I don't I don't totally remember. That's the thing. Yo, who's the actor? It reminds me of how amazing Buggy's actor was in One Piece because he was wacky too. He had to play like this madman. Bruh, is that a threat? Yeah, you tell him. He's corrupted himself. Dude, lay your hands off her. Whoa. Did she do, I think she did a tiny bit of ice before. Wow, that is impressive. Yeah. How dare you lay your hands on her, fucking cunt. Did he even do that in, in the cartoon? I don't remember him laying his hands on her. Asshole. Wait, does he not realize the scar? Rest.
rescue Iro. Yo, this is so fancy. <laughs> Yo, kangaroo me. <laughs> Yo, this guy. He's a monk. What? It better not be poisoned. His whole entire people were massacred. Um, Boomy. Okay, this is taking a turn. Yeah, what have you guys been doing? Just being here. With all of this gold and treasure. What? It looks creepy as fuck. She's playing. In a tunnel? Uh... Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> what the hell? Why are you here? Are they like hippies? <laughs> In a cave slash tunnel. Yeah, because of the vibrations. You don't have an audience though. I mean, before they came.
Okay, that does not look nice. What the fuck? What happens? I love two lovers. Oh, and that's why it's called a marshu met on top of the mountain. Oh, I guess their spirits are still there. Through the tunnel. Badger moles. What? From the badger moles. This, I don't think this was mentioned. Oh no. By the Fire Nation. I'm wondering if that whole backstory is mentioned in like one of the books. <laughs> Bruh, you guys are a bit too happy. Like the... <laughs> like, yo, you just let them through. Izuko... Nearby? For 600 days. Damn. Are you mocking him? What the fuck? What was that for? What a piece of shit. For he used a, like a, did he use a knife or was it just a punch? I think it was just a punch. Oh, he just threw something. He 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 took something. Oh, he dropped his lotus thing. That's how Zuko can find him. Oh no. Yo, you just stepped into a trap. What the hell, dude? He needs to go. Save the waterbenders. The fuck is... Yo, I'm loving the set designs. This is crazy. How's he not like? He should be cut into a little little pieces. That there are plenty of traps. Did 
Dude, you are wacky. The fuck? He could have been sliced. It's pretty much like glass. Okay. Yes, yes. Found it. Something bad's gonna happen. <clears throat> that is not a good idea, Odell. Huh? Oh, okay. Wow, that's clever. And they gave you a clue. Dude, this is the wrong time to be arguing. They have these random, like, arguments in the wrong times. Like, bruh, you've got a mission. Focus on that. Wolf Cove. <clears throat> gonna punch him again stop being a jerk you piece of shit But then again, he did say that um, he laid siege on Barsing Says. Put them through really tough times. Oh my god. Ira, you have some serious explaining to do. Because Ira seemed like a pacifist to me compared to the others.
I didn't know Iroh did that. Yeah, what's happened's happened, man. You can't bring your brother back. He does. And she does. Oh. Yo, I didn't know Ira did that. I don't know if it was mentioned in the cartoon. It's been so damn long. I just thought he was like, you know, just like there as a Fire Nation member. He abandoned the siege after his son's death. And what did Lu Ten do? His son. Was Lu Ten a good person? The fact that they herald him as a legend. Not oh, before he's got the scar. That's quite sweet. You're giving it to him? Oh, yo. Oh, that's sweet. I want to know more about Luton now. Backstory. So I've been to see the scene where he's next to his gravestone, but they've done it like this, which is fine. He's literally crying over his photo. Did he have a wife as well? I mean, obviously he did, but like, did she die prior? She's getting better at it. He just let it corrupt him. Makes sense. You should. <laughs> I 
and got tips from Suki. That is a feat in itself. Yeah, he should be very proud of himself. I thought it would be a pathway to somewhere, lead to some sort of trap. Are they just going in circles? What is that noise? Oh, you guys. What? Okay, this is spooky. <clears throat> He really wants to prepare him. <laughs> what can seriously change you? Well, that's Ang's job. And hopefully this one will actually teach Ang a bit more. Interesting key. Ang needs to learn some earth bending. If anything, oh, my God, bruh, <laughs> those armpits, those armpits. Holy fuck, yo, I did not expect to see those armpits. This guy is crazy. Ank knows no earth bending and he's a kid. He hasn't like fully I mean he's great at air bending, but oh my god. What is it now? No, that's some spirits, man. <gasps> what? What? Ha! Huh? The Bajamo! The Bajamo! Is that the same one from like that story? Or is it just another badger mole? It's huge. Zuko? I really like the effects. A lot better than that shitty movie. <laughs> you gonna kill him? He's changed. <gasps> Did you just stab him? He was angry though. Oh, you don't take it out. Oh my days. N never take the blade out. 
That is stupid. Bandage him, man. He's gonna bleed out. the hell? Oh my god, yo. Nice set of scared of water. <laughs> oh my god, what a terrifying thing. Oh, fuck. Is it blind though? Maybe take out the light? Oh gosh. What? No, something stopped it. <gasps> oh. They love as siblings. Mm. Oh, I was thinking that. Oh. Wow, that's so interesting. He actually understood. Follow the badger. Follow the badger. <clears throat> wow. Yo, you are crazy. <laughs> Your boomy is not to be messed with, man. Whoa. Epic doge. He's trying to test you. You have to be your best. Although I do think this is a bit much. What did you lose? You lose your whole family? He's only now angry. Yo. Oh my god, what the? Oh my god. Yo. This is mental. <gasps> you guys are gonna break the shit down. Oh my god, those armpits, man. Ew. <laughs> it's, his face doesn't match his body. Wow. Dude.
and he's gone through some of that. Yo, how is he holding it? <gasps> Just on time. Um, okay. Oh my god. Yo. Really put him through an ordeal. No, they just came. He's going to have f f f help from his friends. Yeah, exactly. He's not going to do it on his own. Because he is a child. Kinda. Can she call on it? Yeah. Survive this long. How old is Boomy? And the way there's been like Fire Nation spies, I feel like there should have been more done about that. So it's Whoa, he did that? Oh my god, bro. <laughs> oh my god, yo. What an amazing episode. I hope he's, yo, he needs medical attention. On a boat. Oh, just after his dad did that to him? mission to find the avatar just to be part of the fire nation what a piece of shit of a dad
He doesn't wish to come back. <laughs> he should have tea with Boomy. <laughs> Found him! Oh, that's just Appa though. They can't have boarded him already. Not gonna tell him. Jabara Sunny. Yo, every time I watch a new episode, it becomes my favorite. This was amazing. Let me see if I can figure out who played Boomy. Paul Sun Hyung Lee, Daniel Day Kim. Okay, I don't think I'll say. Wow, Boomy! Oh my god, he was wacky. He was he was brilliantly acted. Like that's exactly how I expected Boomy to be. Um, he was really testing Yang. And um, he showed a bit of grudge against Aang. Obviously, like, he has a right to be mad. The fact that Aang um, wasn't there during the 100-year one, period of war uh, caused so much destru destruction. I can only imagine Boomy has lost so many people, so, mo so many of his loved ones throughout the years as well because of the war. Although, i got to say, like... Bumi as king, like, what has he actually done for his people? I think he's had to make, he, he's alluded to the fact that he's had to make tough choices because of the war, uh, the whole rationing thing, whether you're going to get food to the soldiers or the orphans, something like that. Um, and he's trying to tell Aang that he's going to have to make really hard choices as an avatar, which is true, although it was just... Gosh, the fights, yo. I, I did not expect a fight between him and Boomy. I really like all the effects, like the rock effects and the crystals that came up. Um, I thought that was really gonna like hurt uh, Aang, but I guess he made sure they weren't so sharp. The thing about Iroh, like, I didn't realize he was that involved with like the killings and stuff. I can only assume that he was a soldier a very long time ago but I just never really thought too much about it because he always seemed like such a pa pacifist so um but it makes sense otherwise he probably would have been kicked out by the fire nation if he always was a pacifist pacifist so he has committed some crimes he basically torched the eastern wall which killed off that that um guy from Bossing says brother um in that there was nothing left of him uh, so they couldn't even like properly bury him or something like that man that's seriously fucked up Iroh has changed though since those days like he's become more of a pacifist really like he's not someone who kills or fights unless he's really needed unless it's needed for him to fight um for a good cause and he doesn't just kill people um for fun or anything uh, and the funeral of Lu Ten. I actually really want to know more about Lu Ten, um because the Fire Nation were like raving him as a legend as a hero um which isn't a positive thing to think about but I mean it was it was sweet of him to like give that token thing to Zuko uh, but then Zuko gave it to Iroh to remember his son by. Yeah, I still remember those scenes from the cartoon of Iroh just crying over Luten's photo. We got a slightly different scene, but I'm not mad at it at all. Yeah, a very fun episode, and it was creepy when Katara and Sokka went through that tunnel because I wasn't sure what to expect. Like, are they gonna come across the spirits of Oma and Shu? Um, are they an LGBTQ plus couple or? Because I think they said, I, I think the pronouns that they said was she for both of them. I don't know. Um, yeah, just curious. And um, yeah, like they actually came across a badger mole which reacts and senses love and emotions, which is so interesting. Like, 
okay. Um, so they, they, felt, they followed the Bajimal and it led them to the palace to rescue Aang from Bumi, pretty much. Yeah, very crazy episode, but I loved it. Bumi made me laugh, even though he said some crazy things. But yeah, what do you think of this episode? Let me know and stay tuned for more.